Hello and welcome to Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV and it's part two of our Bring Back Max Power series where we're continuing to look at the August 2002 edition of Revs magazine. So why not join me for a brew and we'll get stuck in to part two. So we start off with a double page spread for online autosport. We cater for Vauxhall, Peugeot, um, yeah, mainly Vauxhall and Peugeot, so body kits for Astras, Novas, Corsas, 306s, um, 206s, 205s, Saxos. Exhaust, Sportex exhaust, sport suspension from Bilstein. And we'll just continue across. And our next feature car is a Citroen Saxo. So, Spunky Road over Paul Neal's Killer Saxo, which he reckons is second to none in the UK. Has it got what it takes? Let's find out. Let's have a look at some of the tech spec. He must have sunk £20,000 into building my car, so it has to be one of the best in the UK now. So let's have a look at the tech spec on this car. So engine-wise, it's got the 1600 8-valve uh, engine. And Samco hoses with alloy pipes. Or Blitz Evo air filter. Forge alloy caps and seven side power steering reservoir. Super sprint manifold with Magnex stainless exhaust and decap pipe. Powerflex engine mount bush. Transmission is its Saxo VTS gearbox, black diamond clutch, six inch sport drive, drive shafts, Griff engineering clutch shift. Suspension wise, it's on Kone adjustable dampers all round. 100mm custom load springs front, Momo strut brace, OMP, lower strut brace, rear torsion bars lowered 80mm, uprated rear anti-roll bar, power flex, poly bushes. Braking is taken care of by um, at the front with a high spec 285, big disc conversion with black diamond pads. The rear is on EBC turbo groove discs with red stuff pads. And it's also got good ridge brake hoses. Wheels are 7 by 17 inch Boss XTR, 205 40 17 Falcon Fiddy 512 tyres. Bodywork, it's got the Wings West front and rear valence and skirt, Dimma Concept spoiler and grill, meshed front bumper, modified front and rear arches, custom tailgate, RDM front and rear light brows. Ultra crystal lights. Interior wise, it's got Cobra Opus seats, matching rears, custom built door cards, Ramon's three point harnesses, racing chrome knob gear gator, chrome handbrake, seven side chrome heater knob, Nomad voltmeter and carbon fibre power pod. In car entertainment is uh, provided with by Alpine. AI Net Digital Command head unit with CD changer, Infinity Reference 5 by 25 inch components, 6.5 inch coaxials, 4 inch coaxials, PRGL audio 500 slash 1 amps in rear quarter panels, PRGL audio 300 slash 4 amps in boot, EG 15F power core capacitor, PR Infinity Perfect 12 inch subs. Optima yellow top battery, auto leads and power packed cabling. So yes, quite a lot of money spent on this Saxo. As he drove the car, the rear spoiler shattered the rear screen. He was gutted. Next up we have a, an advert for um, Regex. And then we've got a double page spread 
off by Gap Security with Nicola Ulian, one of the, this is another Max Power Star Babe back in the day. And again, another double page spread from Gap Security. Then we've got our news page. Let's have a look at what was happening in the news. So, smaller cars rule, it's official. Got um, Max Live 2002 and the Ultimate Office Bum Warmer. I'd love a seat like that in my home office. Um, I might have to have a look in, look at, get into one of these. Police dirty tricks to stop and um, top speeding excuses. So let's have a look at some of the top speeding excuses we have. I need to get to the petrol station before my fuel runs out. I'm a member of a royal family. My shoes have been resold and I'm not used to the extra weight. I was hurrying to the petrol station before the free red crystal glasses ran out. So one more. I was passing my mother-in-law's house and felt the unconscious need to accelerate hard. Next up we have an advert for Demon Tweaks. So if you were looking at back in the day in 2002 for alloy wheels you could have a choice from TSW, Ox, Oz, Momo, Thousand, is it Niagara? Mm. Discs and pads from EBC, Tarox, Mintex. And next we have a show report from GTI, yeah, sorry, GTI International. 20,000 people and loads of wicked metal make this one the best one yet. This was back in 2002. So GTI International is the festival for all things Volkswagen, if you don't know that already. So, there's a sneaky little Peugeot 206 down here, sneaking into pictures. Lovely to sat here. Next up, we have an advert for Racex, Racex Stockists. So, is there any in Scotland we can find out? Let's have a wee look. So, if you were looking for a Racex Stockist, in 2002, and uh, excess motorsport in Hamilton would have been your choice. Then we have the letters page chat room. An advert for red dot braking products. Hell on wheels. Again, more letters from members of the public and readers of the magazine. Then we have an advert for oldenauto.co.uk, um, double page spread, specialising in EBC braking systems, pipe across panel filters and filters, Samco hoses, magnets, GMAX suspension, Richbrook, Turbo Technics, um, Goodridge, KNN, and spot fire. And next again, the next feature car is again another French car, this time a Fat 306. So wide boy Adam Ward must have built his scandal kitted 306 on 18s with heavy influence from his heavyweight godfather, muscle man Jeff Cape. 306 back in the day was and probably still is in its buffer era one of the best hands on hatches of the uh, early 90s and the early 2000s until, until the Focus sort of came along. This is probably one of the better hand on cars of that size. 
Copper said he liked the look of my car. So let's have a wee look at the tech spec on this Rio 6. So it's the old venerable um, 1900cc turbo diesel, TNN induction kit, full Musketeer twin exhaust system. It's running a factory 5 speed manual, it's lowered 30mm on Peugeot Sport Springs. Brakes are front of EBC turbo groove discs, east of pads, the rear are just the factory drums. And wheels and tyres are 8x18 inch CAN RS2s, 225 35x18 toil pro axles. And wide arch scandal kit by Peugeot Across. M3 mirrors, aero filler cap and neck, black gold flip paint. Now, we mentioned this probably in one of our previous videos, but of course, our was a usual spe uh, tuning and body kit specialist up near Bonesse. Interior wise, we've got Momo Millennium Wheel, um, Conrail gear knob, gate and handbrake. In car entertainment is Alpine MDA 7755R. Mini disc head unit, Infinity 6 inch components, Alpine DDS R69X 6x9s, Diamond M3 12 inch sub, Kenwood KEC P5301 T 800 watt amp, Phoenix Gold QX4150 4x75 amp. Performance uh, estimated at 120 mile an hour. Moving on, we've got an advert for Toyo Pro Axis, Proxies, T1S. Then we have uh, a report on Artec Auto Design. Here's that Saxo we were talking about earlier on. Picked up again. So they're based down in. Uh, St. Albans. Then we have an advert for Mongoose Exhausts. And here we have our old friend again, the old mobile phone graphics and ringtones. So we've got a Ford owner. Ford, there's a Volkswagen one, Mini, Peugeot, MG, RS Turbo, Supra. And we're on to our staff cars. So first of all, we've got Mark Guest, who was a deputy editor and his Vauxhall Astro. Um, Mark Guest was the last editor of Max Power magazine back in 2011. Then we've got Neil Hunt and his Six and Saxo. Okay, moving on, we've got Book Neil, the art editor, and his little bread van. I think what he's done is got the bucket seats front and rear. Then we have Simon Johnson and his Peugeot 205 1.9 GTI. And then we have Dave Lily White uh, with his Subaru Impreza. And then we've got Luke Neal's other car, the Mazda MX-5, or Unos Roadster in this case. Before moving down to Chris Bradshaw, who is the advert dude, with Golf GTI Convertible. And we're just going to finish up part two of this look at the August 2002 edition of Rev Magazine with an advert for Boss Wheels, which I think we've seen on the Saxo earlier on that we featured. So, anyway, I'd just like, I'd just like to thank you for watching this video. Um, don't forget to like and subscribe at Scottish Car Enthusiasts and Trains TV. And part three will be along shortly. Um, 
you should be seeing this video on the on the Thursday, which will be the twenty second of December. Um, part three will probably be along in a week after that. Um, and I've got a couple of uh, videos I planned at the moment. Um, we've got a Christmas Christmas video, and we've potentially got a couple of fleet updates as well. Um, going out next week as well as our 2022 annual review so it's all action-packed but the bring back max power series will either come out next uh, part three will either come out next week or it'll come out early into 2023 so as always thank you for watching this video don't forget to like and subscribe at scottish car enthusiasts and trains tv and we'll catch you soon Thank <laughs> you.